morning and welcome to week three of Vlogmas. We are back to working weeks really. Um, this week in particular, um, I have got Glasgow School of Yarn on Friday, Saturday and Sunday this week. So today I am in the last minute kind of dying and crazy prep and crazy lighting. Is that better or is that worse? I think that's actually better. <laughs> um, I am in the last minute kind of dyeing up bits and pieces today. I need to finish winding the stripes today. Um, I'm dyeing up my Glasgow exclusive, which I will pop a clip in after I've finished talking to you. Um, I am dyeing up my Glasgow exclusive based off um, the logo and the um, postcards that were sent out as well. Um, I was hoping I had one somewhere, but I think I may have used them all up and I'm not 100% sure what I've done with the one that I had in here. Hmm, it might be it somewhere. Anyway, the original plan had been to do a stripe, but unfortunately the batches went completely wrong and were a disaster. So I'm now going to do a, um, I'm now gonna do a, I need to turn this down, it's bubbling away far too much and I can hear it. <laughs> Um, I'm now going to do a mini bundle. This is not quite the exact colours and you're not going to get a decent view in this light anyway. I will show them later in the week when they're all dried up, but it's roughly these colours. Um, and I'm also going to do um, a sock set. So the sock set will be um, the pinks in the main skein, kind of a speckled main skein around the pink colours. And then I'm going to do a green mini. Again, I've not quite decided which colour green. I think I'm probably going to go for the slightly darker green um, for the mini to go with the sock set. Um, so that's the plan with the Glasgow exclusive. I need to get all of that dyed today. I've also got a few other um, semi-solids that I want to get dyed up just um, as kind of normal skeins of yarn to kind of complement stuff and things like that. Um, so yeah, big dyeing day today. And then the rest of the week is sorting all the rest of the bits that need to be sorted for a show. I've got a few little notions and bits that I need to sort out. I need to get labelling. Um, I. I was umming and ahhing about my labels because I've obviously had new branding and new labels um, but any existing yarn on my shelves that has the old labels on I've been sending out with the old labels on because I didn't want to waste them it seemed very wasteful to do that however with a show I want everything to look uniform and I think it will annoy me and it won't look right if there's a mix of um, old labels and new labels on the grid walls so I am having to relabel anything that has the old labels on, which of course adds time and frustration, but I know I will be much happier when I look at my stall and it's all uniform rather than having a mishmash of labels. Um, so yeah, that's another job. I've got Jem arriving on Wednesday afternoon. She's with me this Wednesday, from Wednesday this week and then she leaves Wednesday next week. Um, so that'll be nice. So Thursday I will have lots of help getting the last minute bits and pieces done and we can pack the car Friday morning and leave, we'll leave around lunchtime, something like that. Um, and I'll try and get some footage of the show. It's a little bit tricky. What is the lighting doing in here? Um, it is a little bit tricky because um, I am on my own, Jem's got her own stall and I'm on my own, I don't have a helper for this show so um, yeah it might be a little bit tricky getting filming and footage and stuff during, during the show but I will do my best to get you a little feel of what the show is like um, towards the end of this video. Anyway, I now need to go and get on with some stripe winding and check on the kids because of course it's it's school holidays so they're home as well although they're quite happy watching watching tv and playing computer games in their pajamas so they're living their best life right i'm gonna get away from this crazy lighting and go and get some more work done
I'm just sorting out some of the notiony bits and I made a mistake with one of the things that I ordered. I had to order them while I was away because I hadn't had a chance to get them ordered and I was ordering backing cards because I've got some new needle stoppers. Um, these will be heading into the shop eventually. They're just going to be coming to Glasgow with me this weekend and then I'll be putting them into the shop at some point. Um, I got a little bit carried away the other day because I found somewhere that did some really, really, really fun ones and I ordered loads. Um, so there will definitely be lots coming to the shop for the moment. I've got hot, wa hot, air bot hot water bottles, that's not right. Hot air balloons. I've got Highland Coos. If my camera would focus. There we go, Highland Coos. I've got little rain clouds. And then I've also got um, just some little hexagons. I've got um, pink, I've got purple, and I've got blue little hexagons. Um, but yeah, I made a bit of a mistake. And the backing cards I ordered are actually the wrong size entirely. I ordered um, A6 instead of A7, which is really, really annoying. Um, but fortunately, I'm able to trim. I've kind of, can you see what I've done? I've trimmed these ones down. Um, so you lose a tiny bit at the sides of the logo at the, on the back. Um, so originally, this was supposed to be the front. And then on the back, I'd put like contact details and stuff like that so that you had it on there. So I don't now have any contact details on these, but at least it's got my logo and stuff on. It'll do for this show and then I will, when I've run out of these, oh, pardon me, <laughs> when I've run out of these ones that I'm having to adjust, I will order some the right size. But it's a bit annoying really. Oh well. Um, but yeah, I've been using these needle stoppers for a while now, um, the hexagon ones, and I've got a couple that I've bought from other people in the past. And I really, really like them. I really enjoy using them. So I thought I would source some and stock some. And as I said, I've got some really, really fun ones coming. I'm hoping um, that they might arrive. I ordered them at the weekend. They're from a UK shop and I did pick the... Um, express delivery option so I'm hoping they will arrive before the show and I might be able to have some time to bag some of those up to take with me to the show as well because yeah there's some really fun ones I also got some Christmassy ones for a little bit later in the year um so yeah right keep working Helen keep working good morning it is Tuesday and I am on to labeling I'm not dying any yarn today um, but I am just trying to get as much labelling and packing and stuff like that done for Glasgow as possible. I've done most of the four ply. There's a tiny bit that's not dry yet and there's a tiny bit that needs skeining still. Um, I've done most of the DK, which I will show you in a second. I'm not taking a lot of DK. I'm probably taking about one row of DK, mostly four ply. I'm in the middle of doing the fluff. So we've got various fluff colours. We've got fern, slate plum, pixie dust, I've got some undyed fluff coming and then I've also got shadow um, as well as a few colours that I've not actually labelled yet. We've got shimmer, uh, sea foam and petrol on fluff as well. So I think it's called petrol. I can't remember. No, Pacific. It's called Pacific, not petrol. Pacific. Um, so yeah, get in there. I did a few notiony bits and pieces yesterday, so I've got, um, I don't know where I've put them, here. I showed, no, I showed you the needle stoppers yesterday, didn't I? I think I showed you the needle stoppers yesterday, and I did some more Nicosi Notions tins, and I've ordered some more higher, higher snips, um, because I was nearly out of those, I didn't have very many at all. Um, they've already dispatched, so I'm hoping that they will arrive, they're usually very fast, kind of next day delivery kind of thing, so I'm hoping they'll arrive tomorrow, today, tomorrow, Thursday, that's fine. Um, so yeah, I've got all kinds of bits and pieces to do. Labelling is my big focus today. I'm going to get some labelling done. I'm going to get some skeining done. I'm hoping that by the end of today, most of the yarn will be labelled and packed. I also need to go through and sort out mini sets and what I'm taking in the way of minis. I have a bookcase for a yarn show. And what I usually do is I put the books that are related to the collections I've got with me on the bookcase, along with the mini bundles that go with those collections. Um, so I'm taking Lord of the Rings minis, I'm taking Beatrix Potter minis, um, I'm taking Matilda minis, um, but I'm also possibly going to have some of the part one Beatrix Potter, some of the Hobbit, 
Um, so I need to kind of have a little think about that. Um, oh, that reminds me, I need to measure Jasper's bookshelf today. Um, I, can, I always take Jasper's bookshelf with me, but um, I'm hoping to order my own one for this show because poor Jasper is fed up of having everything taken off his. Um, and I've seen that they're back in stock with Argos. Um, it's just a Habitat one. It wasn't anything fancy. It's like 25 quid from Argos. Um, but last time I was going to order one and they didn't have them in stock. Um, but I need to double check that it is the right one and that it is the same size because I know that Jasper's will get in the car. <laughs> and that is a big factor. Um, so I need to do that as well so that I can get that ordered. We've got an Argos at our Sainsbury's though, so it's very much a collect same day kind of thing. And Tom has promised he will get that built for me. And I'm hoping, I'm not sure, because I've got a lot of gems stuff to get in my car as well as my stuff. What I would really like to be able to do is get the shelves in at the right points and get the lights on the shelves as well. Um, so that when we come to set up I haven't got that takes quite a lot of time getting my lights on the shelves and I don't have a lot of time for setup we've got two and a half hours for setup and I don't have a helper um, for this show so I'm setting up all on my own which time is going to be it's going to be tricky to get done in in the time to be completely honest on my own but we will we'll do our best basically um, so yeah, that's my thing today is to get all of those bits and pieces done. I've got a whole load of, I need to do new price lists. This is my first show since my prices have increased because of VAT. Um, so that will be interesting to see as well. Um, I've, so I need to do new price lists. Um, I need to label all the stripes as well. Although I'm still waiting on some of the minis for the sock sets for the stripes to dry. Um, what else do I need to do? I don't really know you know I've got lists everywhere so I do know what I need to do but for now let's get the fluff labelled bit of last minute blocking that needs to be done. I've got this lovely crochet shawl and um, this is called the Franz shawl I think. Um, I can't remember the design, I'll have to put it on the screen um, because I can't remember it off the top of my head. Um, but it's gorgeous, it's in my Strider colourway which is one of the Lord of the Rings colourways. Um, Tom has already earmarked it to have it for himself once I no longer need it as a sample because he thinks it looks really really cosy and to be fair it is, it's a DK shawl. Um, but yeah, I haven't blocked it. <laughs> I've not needed it for a show yet, um, so I need to stick it into block. Now, I know blocking is one of those things people have lots of questions about quite often, so I thought I would show you how I block the shawl. So to start off with, I've got a little bit of just kind of tepid water. It's not ice cold, but it's also not warm. I'm gonna add a dash of um, soak, which is a um, wool wash that you don't need to rinse out. You can also use something like Eucalan. Um, some people use Woolite. Um, the only thing I'd say with Woolite is you do need to rinse it out. It's not like these ones, which you don't need to rinse out. Um, put a little bit of that in the water. And then I'm just gonna stick the shawl in, roll my sleeves up so I don't get wet. Now this is a superwash wool, so I don't need to worry too much about it felting. I can give it a little squeeze. It's not likely to felt. And I'm gonna leave that to soak for about, well, 10 to 15 minutes, I'd say. Realistically, I'll probably end up leaving this for a few hours because I'll forget. Okay, so the shawl has had a good long time to soak. Now I'm actually gonna stick it in my spinner because I've got one of those upright um, spinners a bit like you get in a wash in a in a in a washing machine no a bit like you get in a swimming pool sometimes but bigger <laughs> um, I obviously use this for spinning yarn um, a, a lot of you very few of you will probably have one of these um, if you don't then what I used to do 
is I will take this out, wrap it up in a towel, like literally roll it up inside a big towel, put that towel on the floor, the, the rolled up tube of towel on the floor, and then um, stand on it. Oh, the cat's just got under the cabinets in the utility room. <laughs> um, in the corner, he's gone under the corner cabinet. He'll come back out in a minute. I'd put a little box there to stop him getting, he's just gone down here. Um, I don't know if you can see the one bit of this cabinet that hasn't got a baseboard <laughs> and he's gone under there. Burrito, where have you gone? You gonna come out? No, I had popped a box there to block the hole, but um, clearly he was clever enough. Well, look, there he is. Can you see him? There we go. <laughs> Put the box back. <laughs> anyway, cat distractions. Um, yes, so you'd roll it up in a big um, towel and then put that towel tube as such on the floor and basically jump on it. Um, I used to get the kids to do it. They loved it when they were little. Just keep walking up and down it, jumping on it to get as much of that water out as possible. Um, but I have the advantage of having a spinner. So I'm going to stick it in the spinner. Awkward angle time. <laughs> Okay, so to block this, I've got um, some little blocking mats. These are just, um, these are actually just kids' play mats, um, but they do the same job. These were dirt cheap. I think I picked them up at a supermarket at one point. And yeah, they're dirt cheap, but they do the job perfectly. So I'm gonna put these out on the bed. And then I've got some Knit Pro knit blockers that I'm gonna use. Um, and I've also got a few um, T-pins as well. Um, not that my camera will focus, there we go, a few T-pins as well. Um, you can just use normal pins, that's also absolutely fine. Um, I do love the Knit Pro blockers though, they are really, really handy. Um, anyway, I'm going to film, you're going to get to see it from a distance while I do it, because there's no decent angle. Please ignore the giant pile of clean laundry. Um, I haven't had a chance to put it away yet. <laughs> it is clean though. As you can see, I didn't quite have enough blocking mats, so I've improvised. I've put a towel under the um, under it as well to kind of protect our bed, so our bed doesn't get soggy. Um, and I've gone round the straight edges with the Knit Pro blockers, which are what these are. Um, if I had more space and more time, then I would like to be have been able to pin out every single one of these prongs. As it is, I've just done a few to kind of give the rough shape. Um, but it's definitely grown with blocking. Um, it's really going to be lovely, nice and cosy. Um, so there we go. That's kind of what I do. And then I'll leave that. Well, huh, ideally, it would be nice if it was dry by the time we go to bed tonight. Whether that's going to happen, I don't know. Um, if it's not, then I will have to transfer it downstairs somehow and um, put it down in my office. So hopefully it'll be dry. Oh, it is Thursday. I don't think I recorded anything yesterday because I've just been head down getting on with prep and everything. We're nearly there though. I'm onto the last little fiddly bits and pieces like cutting out price labels and laminating price labels and all of that kind of thing. Um, I have a Jasper. We have some rather dramatic weather heading our way by the sound of it. Storm, oh, I've forgotten the name of the storm. What's the storm called? Oh, you're gonna make me Bardot? Oh, no. Um... Storm something. Oh, 
I can't remember it. Um, it begins with a B, I'm pretty sure, anyway, but it is giving um, a red weather warning for Dundee and surrounding areas, um, which is fun. Babette. It's Babette, there we go, Storm Babette. I have Gem here, um, of the little grey girl, you can't see her on camera, but she's, she's here working away, helping me out. Um, yeah, Storm Babette is causing... Um, chaos and we're due to have a red weather warning starting um early this evening about six o'clock going through until about midday tomorrow um i think red in the uk is like the strongest weather warning you can get <laughs> um we're due to leave for glasgow at midday tomorrow um i'm slightly concerned we're not going to get out of dundee um depends what happens with trees coming down and power lines coming down and all of that kind of thing so keep fingers crossed you will know I'm sure by the time this video goes up live on Monday you will know whether we made it to Dundee or not um whereas at the moment whether we made it to Dundee whether we made it to Glasgow or not whereas at the moment I'm obviously um still not sure um but fingers crossed um uh the kids one of which you keep seeing popping up behind me was supposed to be at holiday club today i booked them in for thursday friday at holiday club so that we have plenty of time to get sorted for glasgow while tom's working and everything like that um but holiday club has been completely cancelled for tomorrow because of the weather warning and i had to pick them up early today because they were closing early because of the weather warning so um yeah i have helpers um extra ones um yeah <laughs> But that's life. We just have to get on with it, don't we? Anyway, I need to carry on prepping and um, I will try and give you a video of all the chaos in here at some point. Although there's so much advent chaos as well that it's definitely going to have to be black and white. We are at the end of a long day but everything is packed and ready to go in the car um, tomorrow morning, hopefully, hopefully, if the weather allows. And I thought I'd show you it all. It's chaos in here. There will probably be some black and white moments because there's also a lot of advents around. But we have one bag here, which you can't really see into. This is just full of samples um, and things like that. A bag here, which is full of lots and lots and lots of mini skeins i've got gnome kits i've got lord of the rings mini skeins i've got beatrix potter mini skeins i've got matilda mini skeins i've got more i can't remember what else there is in there but there's lots and lots in there um the bags underneath which you can't i can't really show you i've got two big ikea bags like this one full of four ply yarn one of them has got a mix of four ply and fluff so yeah that one's four ply you can see some some of the Matilda collection, that one's Agatha, this is Magnus in there. Um, and then, yeah, one of them's got fluff and four ply, uh, fluff and DK and 70 gram sock sets in. We've got another bag here with some random minis and all the stripes are in there. Um, a fair few stripes, not as many as I was hoping for this show, um, just because timing didn't really allow, but a fair few. There's another bag here. This one has got all of the Sunset Fade minis. I've got some gorgeous samples of this. Um, so it's always a really good one for shows as well as lots and lots of notions, including my new needle stoppers, um, which my camera doesn't want to focus on. Um, the new ones that I had ordered, I think I mentioned that I'd ordered a load of other ones. I'd got carried away and ordered a load of other ones. They did arrive. So I've got ghosts and um, I think there's some pumpkins in there. Um, I don't know. There's loads and loads and loads. I will try and share them um, on the stall. I've got really cool patterned hexagons. Um, lots and lots of different ones. And I've got lots and lots as well um, for Christmas, which will be going on the website later in the year. As well as various needles and notions and all kinds of bits and pieces. Um, and then there's my Glasgow exclusive in here. Um, I can't remember if I've showed you this already. The, the week has just rolled into one. Um, but it is um, inspired by um, Rennie McIntosh. 
and like the Glasgow logo for this year, the new colours and things with the logo, but also the roses artwork and design that he did. Um, so we've got sock sets, we've got 120 gram sock sets and 70 gram sock sets. And I also did, whoops, mini bundles after the stripes were a disaster. I repeated the stripe colours as mini bundles um, instead. I do have a few stripes. I think I've got like five or six 70 gram stripes of this colourway. Um, but not as many as I was hoping for the exclusive. But I'm really pleased with how these came out. I really love these mini bundles. I'm going to try and get do some more um, mini bundles from some of my striped colourways um, in the future. Um, and then the last thing I think I'm taking, I'm sure there's something else I'm not showing you, but I can't remember what it is, is just a load of the leftover Middle Earth Minis clubs from last year i think um i always have loads of these on my shelves i over dyed by far too much on a few months because we were um having the garage converted and i wasn't going to be able to dye for a month or so so i ended up over dyeing far far too many um <laughs> so there's lots of them um but they're always a good one at shows they're always quite popular so there we go <laughs> meant to do some video earlier while I was setting up but it didn't happen because I was too busy. We have all the stripes, oh I've still not put bits away. <laughs> um, samples, swatches, all kinds of stuff. I am, um, words are failing me because I'm too tired but here we go. Lots and lots and lots of yarn. The bookcase is back. And I've got Hobbit yarn, Lord of the Rings yarn, Beatrix yeah. Potter yarn, Matilda yarn, all of the Sunset Fade kits, the Glasgow exclusive all in its basket, plus lots and lots of notions. <laughs>
it is Saturday night. We had an amazing first day, actually, um, for Glasgow. It's been really, really busy, really nice. I know there's some people that couldn't make it because of the weather, unfortunately, but hopefully they'll be able to come along tomorrow because they're honouring tickets, which is really good. Um, so, yeah, tired, worn out. Um, we had a lovely dinner. We went out to Bread Meets Bread in Glasgow. Glasgow School of Yarn is very much the foodie show. We always go out for dinner and there's so many lovely restaurants. It's amazing. Um, anyway, we were in the hotel room and hilarity has ensued because we had a bit of an issue this morning. Um, I'm sharing a hotel room with Jem, who is here. I'll try and... There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, we had a bit of an issue this morning. Jem went to get in the shower and turned around and said, there's only one bath towel. So, so okay, it's fine, you get in, I'll ring reception and get a bath towel bring up, brought up. Um, so I rang reception and said, yeah, there's only one bath towel. I said, okay, we'll bring one up, no problem. So Jem finished her shower, no towel had appeared yet. I thought, right, it's fine, I'll get in the shower and if one appears, she can pass it through, not a problem. Of course, no towel appeared yet. So I ended up having to dry myself with a hand towel. Um, but anyway, so we had a bit of a thing with reception. We had to go down. Um, well, when we went down for breakfast this morning, we said to reception about there being no towels um, and they were very good about it. And we came back this evening to towels on our bed, more towels than we needed. Um, and of course, this has become a bit of a story amongst all of us staying in the hotel. So we we sent a picture to a friend to say, the towels have arrived, we finally got towels. And they turned around and said, oh, it's a shame they didn't turn them into swans. So of course, YouTube kind of came to the rescue. And we now have a towel swan. Do, do we think it looks like a swan? <laughs> or I think it looks like a rattlesnake of some kind. Is it a good attempt? Is it a bad attempt? What do we think?
Glasgow and the cats got a present from a lovely um, podcast viewer and customer and Bowser is now thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. Um, Burrito, on the other hand, is much more interested in the packaging. <laughs> I want the paper and the packaging. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no.